Good day everyone! Today our learning target is I can independently write and identify all the subsets of a set. What can you see here in this picture? Well, I can see a bag. A bag may contain a different set of books, different set of notebooks, and different set of pen and pencils. So, pretty much everything that we can see in our school, in our home, is called what we call the set. Now, what is a subset of a set? What is a subset? To identify that, a subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. And to illustrate that, a subset and a superset are terms used in mathematics where a subset is a set of elements that is a part of a superset. Let us just see here in this example. So, a set A is said to be a subset of another set B if all the elements of A are contained in B. That is, A is a subset of B. It uses a symbol. In this example, we have a set A with the elements of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And set B has the elements of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In this example, we can say that set A is a subset of set B. Why is that? Because all the elements of set A, which is the 1, 2, and 3, and 4, are all present or all can be found in the set B, where in set B, it all counts from 0 to 7. So, we can say that a set A is a subset of a set B. Now, what is a proper subset? To differentiate that or to identify that, if a subset does not contain all the same elements of a set, that is what we call the proper subset. And we use this particular symbol. To identify the proper subset, here is the another example. Here in the example, we have the set with the elements of 2, 4, 6, 8 it is not a proper subset of 2, 4, 6, 8. To clarify that, set X, which has the elements of 2, 4, 6, 8, and set Y with elements of 2, 4, 6, 8 is not a proper subset. Why is that? Because all elements in set X are all present also in set Y. So we will not treat that as a proper subset. Now, for the second example, the set A and a set B, set A has elements of 4, 6, 8, and a set B has an elements of 2, 4, 6, 8. So, we can say that set A is a proper subset of a set B because as we um, describe the proper subset, set A is a proper sub subset because all the elements of set A are the members of are all the members of set B and at least one element of set B that is not present in a set A which is the number 2 number 2 or the 2 element is not present in a set A that's that is why A is a subset of B that is correct Important, um, the number of distinct subsets of a set with n elements is 2 raised to n or 2 in a power or with a power of n to identify the number of subsets inside of a set. Now, to 
identify that. Here is the example for the set A. We have the elements 4 and 6. We're in um, to count the number of subset, we just count or we just identify or we just count the number of elements which is present in set A, which is 2, the 4 and the 6, which is 2 raised to 2 or 2 raised to the power of 2. That will be equal to 4. Here is the next example. In set B, we have the element of C, A, and T. And to determine the distinct subset of a set B, that will be 2 raised to 3, where uh, 3 is the number of element in or present in set B, which is the C, A, and T. So, 2 multiply. 3 times, that will be 2 times 2 times 2, the answer would be 8. So, there will be 8 subset in V set B. Okay? Now, list all the subsets of the following sets. So, I have here example. Okay, but um, the question would be, why there is an empty set in a subset of every set? So, just here, for example, we have set A is a set of vowels in the word hope. So, what are the vowels in the word hope? So, we have O and E. That will be a set A. Now, the number of subset would be determined by um, getting the number of the distinct subset inside of a set, which is 2 raised to 4. How many elements? O and E, that will be 2. And that will be um, 2 raised to the power of 2. So that will be 4. To identify all the subset, that will be empty set. The curly braces. The O, the E, and the OE. So that will be the subset of a set A. To count that, that will be 1, 2, 3, and Four, So, there will be four subset inside or that can be found in a set A. So, the question here is why there is an empty set in a subset of every set. So, let us watch the video. What is a null set? It's a set like this with no elements inside it. Like the set of sensory organs of your book, your book is a non-living thing and does not have ears or eyes, which means it's an empty set or a null set. They both mean the same. And if you're asked about the set of sensory organs of a human being, we would have included ears, eyes, nose, etc. Anyway, the null set is represented using this symbol a circle and a line which cuts across. Consider the set A with the first three natural numbers inside it. Now think about it. Is the null set a subset of the set A? Yes, the null set is a subset of every set. But why do we say this? There is actually a funny way to understand this. You can look at it this way. What does the null set contain? Nothing. What does set A contain? It contains 1, 2, 3 and nothing. This means that nothing is a part of set A2. And that's why we say that the null set is a subset of set A. Because every set has nothing apart from the other elements, the null set is a subset of every set. And yes, the null set is also a subset of the null set since both sets have nothing. And this is also obvious as we know that every set is a subset of itself. Now that you watched the video, here is the question. See this for example. 
How many subset does this set have? We have set W with the elements of 0 and 1. To identify that, we need to get the number of element in this set. We will be using the distinct numbers of elements and the subset of this um, set W by using 2 raised to n or 2 to the power of n, which is n that will be 2 raised to the power of 2 because the element here is 0 and 1, so that is total of 2 elements, so 2 raised to the power of 2. So we can determine that 2 times 2, we multiply 2 by itself, the answer would be 4, so that we can say that set W has a 4 subsets. To identify the subsets, we have the empty set 1, as mentioned in the video that the empty set or the null set or there is a null set in every set or in every subset which is always included when we are counting for a subset. So we have null set 1. 0, 2, the element 1, 3, and the 0 and 1, combination of 0 and 1 in the set elements or in the subset. So we count 1, 2, 3, and 4. There will be 4 subsets in the set of um, set W. So this is how we count a subset in each set by using the 2 raised to n or 2 raised to the power of n, n, which is n, which will be the number of element for each set. Set B is, as is the set of all prime numbers from 2 to 5. So what will be the prime numbers from 2 to 5? The answer would be set B, element of 2, 3, and 5. So, to get the number of subset, okay, we count element 1, 2, and 3. There will be 3 elements in set B. That is why 2 raised to the power of 3. So, we multiply 2 3 times. So, 2 times 2 times 2. That will be 8. So, there will be 8 subsets in the set of B. To list all the subsets, these are the null set, which is an empty set or just a curly braces. The next subset is the 2, another set. 3, it is another set. 5, another set. Then we also have a combination of 2 and 3, another set. The 3 and 5, and the 2 and 5. Okay, we also have all the combination of elements, which is 2, 3, and 5. So, we count it all 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Total of 8 subset in D set B. Here, for the example number 4, we have here the set C where all the factors of 8 is the element. So, set C, the elements are 1, 2, 4, and 8. So, to determine the subsets, we will be using 2 raised to n, or raised to the power of n, where n is the number of elements found in the set. So, 2 raised to 4. That means that we need to multiply 2, four times so that will be two times two times two and times two total of 16 subsets in a set of c so to list all the subsets these are 
of course, includes or we will include the empty set or the null set and elements or the individual elements of the 1, 2, 4, and 8. Here is in the pink font. And we also have the combination of 1, 2, 4, 8 all in red font. Okay. And next, the combination of three of the elements like 1, 2, 4, 1, 4, 8, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 8. And the last one is the elements of 1, 2, 4, 8 counted as 1. So if you count it all, that will be 16 total number of subset in a set of C. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you for watching and listening to our lecture. Goodbye!